LNG TV, the official media channel partner for Gas Tech 2021. Well, joining me now is Stan Kinez, Chief Technological Officer at Technip Energies. Um, Stan, thank you so much for coming to join us. Um, just how important is it that we've, we've got gas tech taking place this year and um, that Technip Energies are, are represented? No, I mean, it's very important because, you know, we see technology innovation as essential to the growth and scaling of hydrogen. At Technip Energies, we've been successfully developing and commercializing technology for a long time. So we know technology development. We are confident that through innovation across the hydrogen ecosystem, we can drive down costs and allow mass deployment of clean hydrogen. Of course, uh, Gas Tech Hydrogen was it's the first time that hydrogen have had um, its very own stage here at Gas Tech. Um, what does that say about our sort of the, the current position we're in in terms of the, the energy transition? Well, the energy transition today is, is just beginning, and it's going to be a journey, as we call it. And on that journey, we have to look at technology, we have to look at how companies are going to drive forward with their own ESG statements, how consumers are going to drive demand, and how, of course, governments are going to look at policies. When you bring that all together, we can begin to drive the evolution of technology and the innovation up the S-curve to where we can drive down costs and get more uh, deployment across the industry. You, of course, have plenty of um, experience and impressive track record in delivering in uh, global gas and LNG projects. How does that experience help when it comes to designing, building and commissioning future hydrogen projects? It helps a lot. In, in fact, we as Technip Energies have been designing and building hydrogen plants for over 50 years. So we already have that in our uh, portfolio. But similar to LNG, where we did our first LNG plant more than 60 years ago, we, through continual improvement, when we look at design and EPC execution, that then drives kind of our approach. It becomes part of our DNA to really begin to look at how we can make a difference. And at the heart of this is all the learnings that we get from all the projects, coupled with our focus on project and risk execution, this then drives optimal cost and schedule. But of course, we never compromise on safety, quality, and performance. But you say you've been um, you know, designing hydrogen plants for, for 50 years. I mean, it feels though the rate of change in recent years is, is, is really accelerated in the, in, in the energy industry, um, and I guess digitalization more broadly. Uh, what are the, the challenges as a chief technical officer with this rate of change? Now, a really good question. I mean, uh, it, it is unrelenting. I mean, it, it's, it's all over. I think for us, we just look at it from the perspective that, you know, the timeline to get to net zero is clear. I think we know which technologies and solutions we're starting off with, but the ultimate technology pathways are still to be realized. So that means that many of our customers are asking for answers or looking for answers. And it's a disruptive time in the energy industry. And I see a lot of excitement, but also some anxiety as we all navigate the energy transition. And, and on the flow of information, I mean, the, the wealth of information coming at you. For me, I just have to stay grounded and focused on executing our strategy. Uh, one of the things that I'm looking at is getting access to technology earlier. So I'm looking at technology developments trying to understand what the next generation of technology could be and what is possible with that technology. Uh, I use a wide array of approaches and a far-reaching network of teams, my teams, uh, clients, partners, universities, industry think tanks, and of course I use AI to pull things to me. And as Technip Energies, we're constantly looking for ways to accelerate time to market. And so we're using all the means available to us, our experiences, our know-how, our tools, like computational fluid dynamics, for instance, and of course, working openly and collaboratively with partners. But in, the, in that context, as we're pressured to move forward, it's very important for us to maintain our rigor and discipline around managing risk. So you cast your net wide, are there any particular innovations or projects that are 
personally very exciting to you? Uh, for instance, I spent uh, an hour with the head of uh, nuclear fusion at MIT about a month ago and talking about the state of nuclear fusion and, and looking at what happens next, the so-called Kitty Hawk moment. And so that's something that in my role, I have the opportunity to access a lot of different technologies. Of course, when we look forward, the hydrogen business has a lot of opportunities to help decarbonize a wealth of industries as well as drive mobility. We see electrification as becoming more important in terms of one of our tool sets. And electrochemistry ultimately is going to be something that we have to watch very carefully. So there's a lot of technologies that are on the horizon that we have to monitor very carefully. And we're excited about the opportunities to bring those to market. And do you feel that more broadly, given the last 18 months in the pandemic, has, um, has the acceleration happened faster? I mean, have, have people's mindsets changed towards technology um, because of the way we've all had to adapt? For, for sure. I mean, everybody today is talking technology in one form or another. I mean, we've all, you know, with the pandemic, had to, you know, work in a virtual environment for the last 18 months. And it's been a learning experience, but it's also shown how resilient and adaptable we can be. We found ways to be productive, ways to move forward. And on the energy transition front, there are so many opportunities to bring new technology across the whole ecosystem that as Technip Energies, we're really looking at where we can bring technologies as well as bring the opportunity to integrate those and to deliver the projects that we need to. Brilliant, thank you. Thank you so much for coming to talk to us on LNG TV. Enjoy the rest of, of Gas Tech and it's a Appreciate it, a thank you very much. Thank you. you too.